definitely, man. Definitely. So, yeah, that was some heavy stuff we talked about earlier, man, regarding, you know, the whole play and how that stuff went down, man. A lot of people are having a hard time uh, accepting that what happened happened and took place. Exactly. Regarding exactly. this guy. And, exactly. You know, what, what would you say to that, man? Because the truth, the facts are the facts. Oh, no doubt about it. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I didn't put your name in this paperwork. Where did, how did you get in this paperwork? These are sworn documents. These are affidavits that have you listed as my unindicted co-conspirator. These are see, these are sworn documents. These affidavits went in front for wiretaps in front of a magistrate. Mm. Under the penalty of perjury. So you think so? You think them white folks gonna gonna put themselves in a, in, a, in a trick bag? By putting Demetrius Flannery name in there as my unindicted co-conspirator? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You're my unindicted co-conspirator, man. How did you get in my paperwork? And now, uh, uh, there, 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 there doesn't seem uh, to be any anger or, or, or vitriol coming from your, uh, your perspective about none of this. People are having a hard no time way. accepting and, and, and understanding it. They just don't want to believe it. And I think the sentiment goes to a lot of people, but you have to accept the truth for what it is because at the end of the day, how did you would have never met Tammy had he not put her with you, if I'm correct? Uh, that's, that's, you, you're 100% correct, man. Uh, he knows this and everybody else knows this. Anything with Tammy uh, comes from him. Um... Uh, not only that, what she testified in court uh, to, what what uh, Special Agent uh, Keith Cromer uh, fired, disgraced uh, uh, DEA Agent Keith Cromer, who she was having a uh, illicit sexual relationship with, which killed their case, which killed his uh, his time cut. Mm, mm, All that's mm. prohibited, and it's not only prohibited; it's criminal. You go to jail for that, man. So when you five uh, agents, five agents was fired, and one was indicted. Damn. They gave her a quarter million dollars to set me up, man, to do this. Hmm. I found some stuff in the, uh, it's a St. Louis paper. I can't think of the name of it, but I was able to find an article on that. Can you tell me a little bit about the development of the script? And you say you put some money into that writing. Who, who was the writers and how did that go about being developed? What made you put forth effort and funds into developing scripts? a script for BMF on on behalf of uh Meech. What 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 made well, how did well, that come about? Well, well that was that, that was me and Meech thing. Um I mean uh, that that was something me and he, he and I myself agreed to. And uh if I can uh bring in uh one of the one of the movie houses that can handle it, that type of budget and, and and no one can write the script from the beginning but a person like myself or so so they want people. So um um, we used a young lady out of Memphis, um, who's based out there in LA now. She does a lot of, she, she does a lot of, um, she, she's working with Nickelodeon now, but, uh, this call is from a federal prison. Um, her and a couple more people that she brought in, uh, we, we put the script together over a two year period. So yeah, Meech was a part of that, but I told you that initially I wasn't the government's target. It was Fidel Suarez. You will see that name in there. Uh, many, many times in the documents. All the documents are going to have Fidel Suarez's name in there. Fidel met Meech in the county jail. Didn't know him from a can of paint, but he, he just he just took to him. You know, uh, you Meech Suarez? had that type of person. Suarez, yeah. So he never knew him prior to going to jail? Yes. They met in the, they met in the county jail in Detroit. When, the, when Meech first got indicted, he was in the county jail in Detroit. The indictment is out of Detroit. So Fidel beat his case and vowed to help Meech out. They met in the county. They uh, befriended one another in the county. And Fidel uh, was reaching out to Tammy just to keep up with Meech. Unbeknown to him that Tammy and, and Meech was, uh, was trying to set him up. When, well, he didn't have no interest in, in, in nothing, none of the stuff that she was trying to do. He just wanted to make sure, hey, man, well, how's my man doing? How much money he need for an appeal? I mean, just a, a good dude. So he wasn't. Alone, so it wasn't like the feds set him up. They didn't send a guy in there to set him up. No, 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 no. They didn't send no. They no. They they were in the county jail. Yeah. 
No, 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 no. Fidel, no. Fidel, Fidel, um, <clears throat> Fidel and one and, and two or three other Mexicans got caught with 97 kilos of uh, cocaine at a truck stop. Hmm. And and they beat it in trial while they was in the county jail with Meech in 2005 or 2006. They beat they beat the case in trial. Well, he exchanged information with Meech and vowed to help him out. And that's all he was doing. And so how did, why did they make him a target? Because they knew who he was? Uh, who, Fidel? Yeah. Fidel's a known uh, a cartel member. Yes, they know who Fidel is. Okay, understood. And so what's his status now? Did he beat his case? Is he is he all right or did he get Yeah, he's all right, yeah. So they was they were, so they so the other play was for them to mess me around so that I can turn into a, a, a rat or a dirty bastard and, and, and bring him in. But so, the buck stops with me. I'm not cut that way. You feel me? Fidel, so Fidel never had any interest in doing anything other than just being a solid friend to Meech and making sure that while he was in jail, let me help you out. Because most people know that when you're in jail, you know, especially high level guys, they're going to be watching you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, ain't no doubt. Ain't no doubt. No, Fidel didn't have no interest in anything else other than helping do it out. Uh, uh, either. Like he would uh, constantly say, man, we're going to find the best attorney in, in, in America and whatever it costs, uh, um, I'm going to I'm going to pay it. And just genuinely like to do. Wow. And they turned yeah. and they was going to talk and turn around and target to set him up. They were talking to Fidel. She was she was talking to Fidel. And the this call is from a federal.